hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome and i hope you all are doing well so in today's video i'm going to be coiling this braiding hair right here for a crochet hairstyle so i'm going to be doing that using these small size flexi rods So for the brown hair color, I cut it into um, 14 inches. So I want a little bit of ombre effect on the tip of the hair. So for the bright color one, I'm going to be cutting it into uh, 17 inches. So after cutting the hair, as always, I'm going in to pull on the ends of the hair to give it extra length and also to get rid of the blunt ends. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm going to be blending both colors together. Like I said, I'm going for a, a kind of an ombre in fact. So I'm placing the dark hair color on top of the light hair color. It doesn't matter which one you place on top. You just want to place them together. So right now, I'm going to be transferring the hair by moving a little bit of the hair at a time from one hand to the other. So I did this until everything was completely moved to the other. To my other hand so i repeated the process about two to three times this is the hair after blending both colors uh, together all right so moving on to the form part we're going to be coiling the hair so i took a little bit of the hair right now i'm going ahead to make sure that the lengths are even on the bottom so next i'm going to place the hair on top of the flexi rod so to start i'm going to pinch the the, uh, the hair together and then twist the flexi rod just like I'm doing in this video. So now that that is done, once I have the firm grip on the root of the hair, I'm going ahead to wrap the hair around the flexi rod. So to get that firm and soft bouncy coils, you want to make sure that when you're wrapping the hair around the flexi rod, you want to twist and wrap the hair around, twist and wrap it around. <music> Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys one more time. So you want to start by taking a little bit of hair. So for this part, you can in that ensure that the lengths are even on the bottom first before placing it on the flexi rod or you can place the hair on the flexi rod and then make sure the lengths are even on the bottom. Go ahead and pinch the hair together. Next, twist the flexi rod around just like I'm doing in this video to make sure that the root is firm so once you have the firm root the, root, the next step is to twist the hair around the flexi rod again you want to make sure that when wrapping the hair around the flexi rod you want to make sure to twist the hair so we're going to twist and wrap it around twist and wrap it around so this will give you the firm and bouncy coils so as you can see right here i'm using the uh the other end of the flexi rod because i don't have enough of the flexi rod for the amount of hair i'm coiling so yeah so you okay so now it's time to dip the hair in hot water but first i'm going in with a hair conditioner and and i'm putting a little bit of the conditioner into the container so next i'm going in to pour in a little bit of the hot water and next i'm mixing the conditioner and the water together using the end of the brush so you don't want to go in with your fingers so be careful you can use the end of a comb or a brush to mix the conditioner and the water together so next i'm going to be adding in a few drops of oil to help give the hair a little bit of shine so it's easier to put the the oil in the water mix it together and just put the hair in there so once i add in the oil right now i'm going to pour in the remaining um hot water so now that that is done, I'm going in to put the hair into the water and I'm going to make sure that each coil or each hair 
it, it, on the flexi rod is completely submerged in the water. So for the conditioner, yeah, 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 I know the conditioner doesn't soften synthetic hair. I know that, okay? I'm using the conditioner to give the hair a nice smell, okay? That beautiful scent that you want, okay? You can use any conditioner of your choice. I'm not using it but for the hair to be extra soft. So yeah, you can use a conditioner or oil. It's your choice. You don't have to use it, okay? So after removing the essence water, right now I'm going to be letting the hair air dry completely overnight. Okay, so it's the next day and the hair is completely dry. So the next step now is to unravel the coils. Okay, so here is how the koi looks after unraveling it and also separating it. Look at that. Look at that bands. It's just beautiful. Look at this. Perfect. All right, so the hair is ready to be used for a crochet braid or crochet wig or even braids if you want to. And so here is the crochet hairstyle. Look at this. Beautiful. And uh, I have a video showing you guys how to do the crochet braid, okay? I, the link to that video will be in the description box down below, all right? Be sure to check out that video if you want to know how to get the beautiful, natural-looking crochet braid like this. Be sure to check out the video. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. As always, if you find this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and also if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below, all right? And turn on the notification bell, so that way whenever I post a new video, you will get notified, okay? Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for subscribing, and uh, I'll see you all in my next video.